What's going on workforce? Brian here and in today's video we're basically speculating on a rumored name of patch 5.0 and really asking the question, is there going to be another calamity in the world of Final Fantasy 14? So let's discuss. Okay, so first huge shout out for Gamerscape for posting uh, this article. It seems obviously with the rising event and having a little poem from Yoshi P, as well as a recent trademark filing from Square Enix, we have a rumor name and that's Shadowbringers. This I think is a fantastic name, but the write-up goes a little bit further and the link to this post is in the description below. Go give these guys some love. They do fantastic work. I'm a part of their podcast, so a little self-promotion there, but for the most part, there is a team of wonderfully passionate people who are fans of this game. Uh, working behind the scenes for any and all bits of pieces. So we're going to talk a lot about lore and story here. So if you guys um, aren't caught up or you, <laughs> spoiler alert, in the most highest degree, uh, just FYI, we're going to talk about the Asians. We're going to be talking about some, you know, theories that we've got, uh, talking about the rejoining or AKA rejoinings, Heidelin herself, uh, and obviously Zodiac and what this means for the question is, are we gonna see another calamity? Do we need to see another calamity? And finally, uh, if we're gonna see another calamity, is it gonna be at the end of 4.0 or is it gonna be uh, at the end of 5.0? Because there's a lot of options and hopefully 4.4 comes along and clears some of this up. But, you know, to, to, without further ado, obviously let's start with the poem. Uh, oh, hero rebirth traversing, soar your azure si uh, skies. Upon your breast, a crimson crest, shine light down from on high. Oh, hero of rebirth transcending, wave your azure lie. By your deeds doth crimson bleed and darkness quench the fire. So I am really am interested in this line, by our deeds does crimson bleed. So <laughs> jumping a little bit further and we'll come back to that. So. A realm reborn, light, dawn. I love this kind of uh, mentality with a kind of a day, day night cycle. Heaven's word, azure, it's the day. Uh, crimson, storm blood, it's the evening as the sun sets. You know, see, you see crimson in the sky. And then shadow bringers, twilight, nighttime, darkness. Obviously, I think this is a great allusion to the Asians. And then obviously, we've got the empire and whatever is going on with Elidibus. Uh, and if you don't know who he is, he's the white Asian who. Seems a little bit balanced, but it feels like he's playing a much larger game because all the other Asian attempts pretty much after uh, Bahamut with the Realm Reborn have failed. So for your knowledge, there have been seven rejoinings. Uh, total, we've learned this from Heidelin. Uh, I would say that if there has been any during the course of Stormblood in another part of the world that maybe counts to this, uh, I'm not aware of it and it, we, we won't be aware of it until you know either 4.4 or new lore book, who knows. So if you don't know what a, what a rejoining is, is that as a part of the main story and the crux of this game, you have Heidelin and you have Zodiac, kind of the good and the bad, the light and the darkness, the you know earth and the moon. And a lot of this is alluded to in poems uh, found throughout the game uh, and you know the lore in, in, in and of itself. But the big thing is, is that they were separate and they separated into 13 different shards. And a rejoining is, is that one of those worlds is rejoined. We know one of the worlds is void, and thanks to Onwell over at Gamerscape, he was kind of helping fill me in on some of the things. We believe that that can't actually be brought in. So we don't think that all the rejoinings actually have to happen in order for Zodiac to be able to, to return, uh, and that's really the ultimate goal of the Asians. Zodiac is their god, and while we haven't seen much of them or their presence in Stormblood, it feels like there's definitely something going on behind the scenes, and that's going to be a really great setup for patch 4.4. So where this comes in, um, is the end of 4.x a time for a, uh, you know, <laughs> a time for a calamity? In my mind, a calamity is what we saw with 1.0 to 2.0, both system and back end and work and investment and being able to redo things. I don't know if that necessarily is the right time because going off of kind of a day night cycle, it could almost be uh, everything is really just you know, falling apart, like a, uh, everything is really getting bad. And so I don't know if we're gonna see that at the end of 4.x. I could easily see something like this happening at the end of 5.x for the reasons of both the day-night cycle, um, you know, being that uh, at the end of twilight comes a new day, a new dawn, a new realm reborn, uh, AKA 6.0 uh, in this case. So. Um, that's just kind of a theory that I'm working off of based off of this information. So the other train of thought that I've really been percolating on has to do with desperation. And so I can easily see that Elidibus, uh, the white Asian, is trying to set up 
uh, the empire with an equally strength and you know strong opponent, uh, because essentially then you have two big forces crashing in against each other. Uh, it, it's often shown that the most violent throes of desperation come from when you are losing that fight. So if the empire feels desperate enough that all is lost, they are actually the most dangerous at that point in time because it, there's nothing left for them. They're, you know, like there is no empire anymore. So why not? bring out the big guns. Why not make your death save roll to see if you're able to, you know, survive something or at the end of the day, you're just so upset and mad and whatever that you're just like, I'm out of here We're, and then you're coming with me. Or is it that they're also then beating us back so bad that we bring about that uh, unintentionally, I would assume, because obviously we've been working very hard. We've stopped Thord and we've stopped uh, <laughs> like however many, I can't even off the top of my head remember each one. Um, maybe I'll have to put together like a script and an actual really kind of a nice lore tour uh, type video for you guys. But as far as it goes, by our deeds does crimson bleed. So it seems like there's something we're gonna do. I, you know, whether us as the warrior of light are to blame and then are responsible for bringing about this calamity, um, or are we finally gonna be in all out open war with the empire uh, come you know 5.0, which could be really exciting. Um, I'm trying not to put too much expectations on it because from gameplay systems wise, that would be great. You know, just like some interesting type of uh, event or, th or something like that. I think at the end of the day, um, uh, Storm, you know, <laughs> Stormbringers, Shadowbringers is a really interesting title. The patent's been filed. There's no guarantee that that's going to be the name, mind you, but that's a lot better than some of the other ones uh, that we've seen. And I think it just really is very eluding. Uh, it, ooh, and we got lots of purple coming up. So Prelude to Violent is patch 4.4. We should get a release date this Friday. It's not coming this Friday, but we should know more August the 31st. Uh, guys, uh, this has been Brian for Work to Game. Thanks for letting me ramble and rant a little bit about the lore and the story of Final Fantasy XIV, especially as it relates to the overall big story, which is uh, Zodiac and Heidelin. We haven't seen them. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get more insight into what's been going on with 4.4 and get an idea. But I would love to know what you guys think regarding the next calamity. Do you think it's coming sooner than we expect? Do we think it's going to come uh, in five point after the end or sometime in the in 5.0? I would I would expect to be a proper transition into 6.0. Let me know, sound off in the comments below. Let's have that conversation. I really look forward to getting your thoughts. Hopefully I haven't spoiled anything for you guys. I just was really excited to see this news, to see this speculation, and then as it relates to the rising. Uh, Yoshi P does like to tease us now and then. For Work to Game, my name's Brian. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hey, it's me. Thanks so much for watching this video. You should click here to subscribe and here to maybe check out some more of our videos. So again, thanks for watching. We hope you like this video. We hope you subscribe and join our community. Let us know in the comments below what you think, and we'll see you next time. Bye.